want to give all praises to Yahawa by Hashem Yahashai, by Hashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great men, so not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan since they elect. This Mark is from a Trinidad camp. Just want to bring out a little edification for the elect's sake. Right? Now, as we could see, you know, Russia um, carrying all the troops over there to Syria. All right? Now, the saying um, China, China looking to join up with Russia. All right? And NATO, NATO looking to send troops over by Russia doorsteps too. All right? And soon America, America would follow. So all these nations, they're heading over there to the east. All right? The scripture said he will move the northern army far off from you. So it's only a matter of time before America head over there. All right? And as we could see, as the scripture said, the most high mustered the army. So the Lord put it in the spirit to go over there. Because, hey, this, this, as I saw in one news article, it says that this could end up into a lake of blood. All right? All these troops that going over there, guess what? That could spark off, you know, the beginning of World War Three. And on top of it, we seeing um that earthquakes on the rise, hurricanes. I even saw a map on a news page, a map with hurricanes and tropical depressions on the Atlantic and Pacific side of the world. And someone said they never saw this before. All right. In one of the articles with the earthquake, it said that it had, um, I think, four earth, four large earthquakes, if I'm not mistaken, last last forty eight hours, and seismologists warned of major earthquakes soon to come. So you know, he's so playing around with the half machine. So we we are the end of this thing. We are the end. All right, we are the end, and this is the reason I want to do this video. All right, so I'm going straight into it. This is Daniel chapter 2, verse 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with the murray clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. All right. Now, when you look at other uh, versions of the Bible, they they say partly brittle. All right, and the reason why it's partly brittle is because America, which is modern day Rome, they don't have total dominion over the known earth. All right, well, basically over the whole earth. Back then, Rome had dominion over the the, the known earth. All right, and they were on top. They they had total that total domineering force. All right, America don't have that total domineering force. During the time of World War II, you could have said that because when they had the atomic bomb and they dropped the two atomic bombs on um on Japan, they had no retaliation because nobody has had atomic bombs on nuclear capabilities in those days. All right, so they could have broken pieces anyone, but now, while other countries, Japan, China. North Korea, Russia, all these countries, India, all these countries having nuclear capabilities, Pakistan. Guess what? America losing that 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 throne. Alright? As the scripture said, I saw Satan falling from heaven like lightning. So he don't he he, he they losing that throne. Alright? I just read verse 40 it says, and the fourth kingdom shall be as I am, which is the Roman Empire. Whereas I am break it in pieces and subdue it all things, and as I am that break it all these things, it shall break in pieces and bruise. And that is how they were ruling the Roman Empire. And up, on up to World War II, that is how America was ruling. Alright? But no, they can't just go into countries and do what they want. Alright? That is why they have to do the false flags so that the, the, e the EU and NATO will back them if anything have to happen. All right. When when they 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 might say that um this country might have weapons of mass destruction, so they go in to try to be the superheroes. Syria using um chemical weapons against its own people, so they could go in and be the heroes. They had to use propaganda. 
all right they can't just go in and just do whatever they want they can't do that anymore because other people have the same capabilities as they so they can't just go around and bully the whole earth the scripture call them the hammer of the whole earth they can't go around and bully the earth as they want anymore they're losing their strength so as i said it was part iron and part clay because in their kingdom this is supposed to be their kingdom it have other countries ruling too like not like um not north korea um china and russia all right reason being you're seeing these countries pulling away from using the dollar to form their own currency now guess what you couldn't do that back in the time of of rome you couldn't do that in the time of rome you couldn't do whatever you want in the time of the roman empire all right that is just to show america losing the grip all right that's just to show america losing the grip because these countries basically say now nah, we, we we don't want to have no dealings with america so let we do our own thing so the the, the kingdom it partly strong but yet it partly brutal because they don't have total control over the whole earth as they once did all right and in the days of these kings shall the god of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to another people but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever right because when the lord got all these nations over there yahweh shai gonna come with the elect angels and destroy them all right yahweh shai gonna come and destroy all these nations so he gathered them in one place so that he could judge them verse 45 for as much thou sawest the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it break in pieces the iron and the brass and the clay and the silver and the gold the great God had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain and the interpretation is sure. Alright? Because while these countries are engaging in World War III, Yahweh Shai going to come and do the clean, a clean sweep. He going to come and destroy all these nations. This is Isaiah chapter 14 verse 8. Hell from beneath is moved to meet that thy coming. It stirred it up the dead for thee. So all these nations were, were once dead. They were once in, how to say, silent. They couldn't do nothing. They couldn't fight against America. But now, this, they're being stirred up. They're being stirred up. Alright? That is why the scripture said the king of Babylon had heard the report thereof and, and he's afraid. Alright? America is now afraid. They, they, they realize they're losing that firm grip that they once had over the world. They, they, they're losing that. So the kingdom is now partly strong and partly brittle. All right? Even all the chief ones of the earth, it had raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. That is why all these, these kings, Russia, China, and all these, these countries heading over there to the east. All right? To that, to the, they're that great battle. This is prophecy in the making. We are we actually at the toes of this beast. And the toes about to be broken. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Yeah, they all everybody say basically, hey, America, you can't bully us no more. You can't just do whatever you want anymore. Alright? Because you have nuclear powers, we have nuclear powers too. Alright? And that is losing their grip. That is their kingdom being partly strong partly broken all right they don't have that they, they don't have that power anymore all right they don't have that that strength that they once had anymore yet they're still strong because they you know they still have you know the, the other countries backing them but the the, the the dominance that they once had they don't have it anymore even the dollar don't have the dominance that it once had so that does even showing that the country, the, that, that their kingdom um, crumbling. This is the final precept here. This is Revelation 19 verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written. That no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed in clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name was called the Word of Yahweh, which is the son Yahweh Shai. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And this is where um, Isaiah 66 and 15 come into pass. 
All right? And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, which is them, the lasers from the chariots. All right? Compressed nuclear um, power. That with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treaded the winepress of the fiercest of the almighty power. And he had on his vesture and on his tie a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that they may eat the, kings, the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. Yeah, because the beast go back to NATO. All right. And the kings or all these other nations that over there, because NATO heading over there right now. NATO heading over there, right? I believe they're saying in next month, NATO heading over there. All right. So it's showing all these armies they got in right now. So we are the toe. All right, and it's about to be broken. All right, the, the beasts and all these kings they're heading over there. All right, and when you, when they're fighting against each other, when Yahweh Shai come, then they're going to turn their forces against Yahweh Shai. But guess what? They're going to be obliterated. All right, verse 20, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast, and them that worship his image. These both were cast in alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat on upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So yes, yeah, so that is during the, the time of, that is basically the, the battle of Armageddon, Armageddon 1. The valley of decision where the Lord is going to come and judge all these nations. All right, and destroy them all at once. They think they're gathering on their court, but the Moses is the one who's setting up the stage for them to go over there and fight, and the Lord is going to destroy them. All right, the scripture said upon his head were many, many crowns because the Lord coming, he's going forth to con conquer and to conquer. All right, so that is showing prophecy in the making. All right, America losing the grip, and this is going to lead to World War Three, and Yahweh Shai coming in and doing a clean sweep. Right, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy, not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeland, sincere elect. Shalom.